Hey guys, welcome to Sunday with Spirit. This is not a um, political reading for people who may be new to this Sunday with Spirit. Um, this is, I like to think of it just as a collective of souls that are trying to put forth better intentions in the world. Better intentions for us so that we can put better intentions to the world. And as a collective, our energies, as we are focused on things, those energies build into a pyramid and, and each energy adds to the next one. And we can create a vortex of spiritual change in our group, in our group consciousness. So um, when I was thinking about what I wanted to do, and I'm going, can we make it quick, please? Because I'm about ready to go um, on, a, on a trip to Mount Shasta to see the fairy folk and the Lemurians. And that's a big vortex, world vortex. So I just want to experience that. And um, hopefully it won't catch on fire. <sighs> We're starting to see a lot of fires again. Anyway, but, uh, sorry, this is not political. This is not, this is more spiritual. So when I started laying this out, um, I pulled a card and I got a deep breath. And I thought this is so perfect for where I wanna go with today. And when we take a deep breath, it could be we're scared to death. And go, <gasps> take a deep breath, right? It's like, oh my gosh. Or we could take that deep breath <sighs> to ground ourselves. And that's where I want to go with. Um, last Friday, Thursday, um, Medium Kim and I, we were talking about this grounding, which is more important. So I thought I'd just pull some cards on it. So let me drop it down. Let's see what we got. I think we can see that's good. That's good. Okay. I think we got it. So um, I decided to pull out all my Oracle card decks. <laughs> uh, Mystical Shaman, this is grounding. Um, Brady Tarot, this column is, I picked the word ego for this. Um, it could be, it could be the earthly stuff, but that's the word that came up. The uh, Shaman's Dream Oracle is the higher realm above ego. Now we need ego, too much is bad, too little is bad. Um, so this is just the higher realm of that. And as I'm saying this now, I'm going, is that the middle world or is that the upper world? Is this spirit um, in, in its light form? I, that's what I was thinking when I pulled those cards, but then I needed to pull more because I have this deck and I had to use them all, as I said. Anyway, um, this is work your light. So maybe this is, maybe these two go together. You guys get to decide. And then um, I have my shamanic healing oracle just because I didn't want it to feel left out. So we'll see what that has to say. Okay. So as we go, ego. And where we're going with this is we're trying to ground ourselves. We're trying to get the clearest information from our guides when we pray, when we get quiet, when we... And sometimes, you know, when we play, when we're out there, just we can get 
messages. You know, we don't have to be quiet all the time. And I know some of you are saying, Danny, you might you just you're you're too loud all the time. Anyway, I'm sorry, squirrel. Um, ego. So pick a row and here we go. Or two or three. Ego. Oh. Water. And in the mystical shaman deck, water. Um, the, the reverse cards are called medicine. So this is water and medicine position. <clears throat> so what does water do for us? Water is, I mean, it, it's, it's our life force. We are made up of water. Um, our, the celestial bodies, the moon and the sun, have an effect on our tidal water in our bodies. You know, they pull and push us. Um, they, it, water cleanses us. Being in, being in medicine position, it's what I'm hearing is, is that we may, we may have things that are clinging to us that need to be cleaned, washed away. What are we hanging on to that, that isn't helping us stay grounded? Maybe we're not drinking enough water. I mean, certainly, you know, with this card in medicine position, I, you know, you just think of the droughts that are going on and our mismanagement of water. But spiritually grounding what I what I focus on is what do we need to let go of with that? The ego, the ego column, it's all about the empress. This is the Brady Tarot. And look how lush. I mean, the Brady Tarot is, it's uh, a very beautifully raw deck. The artwork is stunning, but it is, it can be brutal. It doesn't pull any punches. This card is one of the most beautiful cards in the deck. You have the, I don't know what this animal is. The coloring throws me a little bit. Um, but you have the mother protecting her cubs. You have two hairs back here. They, they can almost be um, the two of cups or the lovers if you just looked at that yourself. You have the tree line with a deer back there. And, and then you have the water, the stream flowing into, into the forest. I'm looking up what the, um, it's a red wolf. That's what that is, a red wolf. It almost looks like that red wolf has eagle feathers on it. But I digress. So what are we being protective of in this empress, this lushness, this what we have, what we're hanging on to? What is our ego um, not letting us let go of? that we need to clean away, that we need to wash away from. And in the upper world, the higher realm, what does spirit have to say to us? The net caster, preparations come to fruition. So what we've done, what we've done in the past is coming to fruition. We have to throw the net out, but we've got some things that are keeping us, protecting us, from what's to come, from what the future is. 
Now, I'm not saying you have to let go of all your possessions, but clearly that Lamborghini that you have in your driveway, that, that may be one that you might want to consider letting go of. I don't know why I like to say that word. It's a funny word, Lamborghini. All right, the next one, priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? So looking at this, looking at this row in totality as, as one piece, it feels to me like we're hanging on to too much stuff that needs to be cleaned. We have, we, all our preparations are made, right? She's not throwing anything yet, but all our preparations are made. Um, we just have to throw the net, but we got to clean up some of the stuff that's still stuck to us that we're hanging on to. And the question is, what do we want? So when we're grounding, are we, are, are we, what I just heard in my head was sometimes we want um, results so much and maybe we just need to just be without the results. Put your results out there and then let them go. That's kind of what I'm hearing. What do I want? I want to get rid of the Lamborghini. Okay, well, just let it go. <laughs> and then it's gone. Yeah. Retreat. And that is um, my sham uh, shamanic healing oracle. It's retreat. And that goes with exactly what I was saying here. Um, that we have to have our intention of what we want to cast our net and catch with our net, but then we just need to let it go. We just need to retreat from that and just let it happen. Sometimes we hang on to things too tight and we go, no, this is the way it should be. But these two cards may have other, other, um, ideas of what we should get. All right, so we are in row two, grounding. Hmm. Luminous warrior, wow. Different from this card, <laughs> right? This card, what do we have attached to us? This card is how powerful we are, how enlightened we are with our grounding. And it, it goes back to, to where I am in, in my week, in my journey this day, and it changes all the time. But I'm focused more on the grounding, and the grounding allows me to really feel like you can't push me around. You can't push me over. My feet are so solid on the ground, in the ground, deep in the ground. It's like a huge tree. And I don't mean by like, you can't push me around. Uh, that's that's kind of a, a, a little too, I think, egoic. It's gonna be interesting to see what that card is. Um, cause sometimes just stepping back a little bit, even though somebody may be kind of, I don't know how to put this in words, you know, you, you may feel like you're being pushed around, but you probably aren't. Maybe you just need to stand your ground quietly. the luminous warrior and the ego thing that we're dealing with. Wow. Victory. Victory. 
in the luminous warrior. So what, what is victory to this luminous warrior? I know what victory is, is in the, um, the five of swords tarot deck, winning at any cost. Is that what this victory is? Look how much, look how, how many feathers are lost with this. That rattlesnake, I mean, how dangerous is it for um, this raptor to, to bite, you know, and to, to pick on, uh, um, to pick on a rattlesnake. To me, I think that would be, that would be a little dangerous. So many animals in the animal kingdom, and again, I'm not sure about this, um, they will, they will, uh, they, they have anti-venom built into their system. I'm not sure that one does. Certainly if it bites them, I bet you they get sick. I bet. So victory at any cost, ego, victory. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Is that keeping us from being the luminous warrior that we should be? And in the spirit, what does spirit want us to say? Repairing the veil. Forgiveness. You know, I think about, um, I, I just thought about the movie uh, Troy with Brad Pitt. And there's others. But what he had lost and what everybody had lost because winning at any cost, we have to win. We have to, we have to hold on to what we are perceive is important to what we have, our family values. You can't insult my family. Winning at any cost, if they would have just had forgiveness, what would have happened? If both sides would have just like, you know what? That's the issue though. It's a singular, it's a singular rod where people are on the outside of this forgiveness rod, I guess. And you have people on these sides. You need to be tied together with these, with these ribbons. You need to find where the ribbons connect. It's not, you know, you're not going to bring them over to your side. You just need to find out where the ribbons connect. What can you agree on? What can you forgive each other on? Hmm. Certainly going to family issues here for me. For me, maybe not for you. And this next card is Break the Chain. Ancestral Patterns, Healing, Rewriting the Future. That's a beautiful card. And so we have a cave here with ancestors coming out, past lives coming out, and us looking into the cave, but not part of it anymore. We're in the color. We have color. I mean, certainly they do too, but different type. And the healing card we get, perception. And it pulls me to these two cards here. What do we perceive as victory? What do we perceive as forgiveness? I think both of those 
both of those perceptions, we need to break that chain of those perceptions that we may have that are keeping us from being the luminous warrior. Clearly in this row for me, this luminous warrior, this grounding is where we want to be so that we can break the chain of all of this. All right, the last row. We have the Earth Keeper, and it's in medicine position. This card makes me so, so sad. We have water in the Earth Keeper upside down. What are we doing to our planet? What are we doing? We got to drill more. And we're finding out when we're drilling more for water, there isn't any. We've sucked it dry. Our mismanagement. And I talked about this in other, other videos. In California, there are aqueducts. Hundreds of, of thousands of miles of open aqueducts that just, the water just evaporates. Now, I personally think that it's going up in the sky and it's fallen somewhere else. Yeah, it's fallen somewhere else. It's fallen in the Midwest, Florida, whatever, but maybe. So it's really not a wasted thing. It's just a redistribution thing. Now, I'm no water expert, but um, it's just all our resources that we have, single-use plastics, the convenience of um, getting a, a no-spill lid on your coffee cup so you can drive and drink and drive coffee while you're and that don't get me started on that. Anyway, um, what are we doing? Think about okay, I, I'm off on a rant. Sorry. So grounding grounding into the earth. It's upside down. It's in medicine position. When we're grounding into, when we're doing our grounding work, I think we need to be aware of what we're grounding into. And in that awareness, Think about how we have, um, our, how we as individuals are harming the earth. There is um, a book that a friend of mine wrote that I just discovered. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's called Love Earth Now. Power one thing every day. And uh, I got it. It's really expensive. Two ninety nine, Kindle, Amazon. And it's it's really well written. It's easy to read, and it just makes us think of this single, you know, what how we go about each day of our lives, not thinking about what we do. We invite invasive species to our small area to combat something we don't like and then that invasive species is a bigger problem than before. We're just not thinking. We're not thinking of the future. All right. My, my little rant. All right. So, ego. <laughs> Oh boy, I think this one's going to be calling to me. Yeah, the hermit. The hermit, yikes. 
ego, the hermit. So this is a nighttime card. I'm going to pull it up so you can see it better. Nighttime card. There's light being shown, but um, the owl doesn't need it. So how does this play with, with ego? I'm hearing that we're just hiding away. We're just staying in the dark a little bit. We're not willing. We see the problems, but we're not willing to be the luminous warrior and step out of this. step out of this darkness. We're just hiding away. It's like taking the first breath, right? And it's like, oh my God. <laughs> All right. Wow. When we think of, when we're in this row, Falling angel, spiritual narcolepsy. Wow. Okay, then. So, this is a fun row, isn't it? Yikes. What do we got here? Amrama. What are you being called to journey to? You know, as a collective, as we think of things that um, we want to change, get rid of plastic straws, get rid of single item um, convenience throwaway items. At, when we have that collective consciousness of we want to change that in, in our little circle here that is ever expanding, ever growing, that does put a vibration out into the universe that will create change. We can't think, we can't hide away and be a hermit we can't think that, you know what, nothing's going to happen anyway. Why even try that spiritual narcolepsy? We understand the earth is upside down. The medicine that we need to take care of the, the planet. And the shamanic healing oracle. <laughs> Abundance. An abundance isn't 150 plastic straws. Abundance is walking out as a luminous warrior into, into this energy of, of being the empress with everything that we have, this lush green... Um, What am I saying? Lush green. Um, it's abundance. It's, it's, you have everything. You have everything you need. You don't need more stuff that is not in alignment with what you are as an earth keeper. Let's just go down here. Let's just look at these last cards here. How are you being called to step up and lead? How are you breaking the chain of ancestral patterns? How are you rewriting the future? 
and where are you being called to journey to? I don't know why I picked this last row, maybe because it didn't have any cards on it. Because this, for me, was all about grounding. This is not grounding. This is all about our thought processes. And as we get older and we are not out there fighting the good fight, you know, marching and, and doing and having that kind of energy, it's a different energy that we have that we can tap in if we decide to go into our minds and create a new reality and allow that to expand to a global consciousness, we will break the chain and you are leading. And when I say you, I'm saying me, us. Thank you guys for watching, for hanging with me.